Good morning, everybody. So, uh, it's the long weekend up here. It's the May 2-4 weekend. Uh, May 24th is Victoria Day. So, it's a celebration uh, of Queen Victoria, who granted Canada our independence. So, um, the weekend, though, is supposed to be cold and rainy. So, um, I was planning, or hoping to plant this weekend, but uh, typical Alberta weather. Um, it's not going to happen. We always joke, anybody that goes camping on the May 2-4 weekend usually gets rained and snowed upon. And uh, yeah, that looks like it's going to happen today. As you can see, the clouds in the sky there, and it's pretty cool. So what I've been doing is working on my uh, garden beds, uh, kind of prepping them for the uh, planting that will then likely occur next weekend. Um, yeah. So I just want to show you the bed that I have been working on for the past week and a bit. There we go. Alrighty. So this is the bed I have been digging out with a shovel and we got most of it done. I left these poppies here because, well, they were about to bloom and I thought, oh, that's a nice pop of color. So here's the poppy up close. So what the bed was like is this stuff, quack grass, dead grass from last year, all through it. So oh, and there's a, a little tree going up, and uh, that's a peony. Over there the peony is going to stay, but I want to finish digging this patch out. As you can see, I've done most of it. So I just have this little bit to do up to the peony there. And uh, yeah, once that's done, I will add some more dirt here and then this bed should be ready to go. So in this uh, bed in the front here, it gets morning sun. Here comes the sun now. Um, so, but it's very sandy soil and it doesn't get a lot of moisture. It's a it's on the north side, like the house faces east, but it gets a lot of the north wind, so it's not protected from the north wind. So I thought, you know what, this year I'm going to try uh, vegetables in it. I'm going to try root vegetables. Uh, I think the soil should be sandy enough in order to get some good sized root vegetables. I just have to keep on top of watering it. I've tried flowers in here, I've tried some other things in here, but um, no vegetables. Nothing seems to grow except, of course, for that little thing of poppies. I did have irises for a little bit, and um, the irises died. Um, I recently dug them up, and uh, yeah, it turns out the reason that the irises died uh, was because an ant colony had made their home under um, this gigantic clump of irises and um, yeah I relocated the queen um, because I stuck my shovel in and um, I started to remove it and sure enough in like my second uh, shovel I, I got what appeared to be the queen. Um, this ant was larger than the others, had a discolored um, large bulbous bottom and so um, I just relocated her a couple feet onto the grass so all of her little antlings could just come get her and relocate because you know the throne room has been compromised that sort of thing so um it looks like they may be gone i'm not too sure i'll find out when i stick my shovel in again um yeah but i've noticed that since i moved her um yeah uh, less ant activity in the area is basically uh, what I've noticed. I do notice some new little ant ant burrows, little mounds of dirt that, that the ants push out when they're digging their tunnels, um, but just relocated on the other side uh, where, yeah, on the grass where I basically um, put the queen down. So, oh, yeah. Looks like they may have just relocated out of the flower bed and, and over. 
I mean, they can still access the bed once the stuff gets growing in there and whatnot. I don't dislike ants. I'm sure they serve a purpose. I'm not too sure what their purpose is. But yeah, I exist for a reason and so do they. So um, that's my plan. Uh, the poppies I will be removing since they're now flowering. They'll be, um, they'll probably be done within an, uh, a week or so. Um, but around them, I am going to, like I said, refresh the dirt and hopefully next weekend get the seed potatoes in. I'm going to plant some beets, some carrots. Um, might even try some turnips. I don't know. I haven't decided. Definitely beets, carrots, uh, potatoes. I'm not too sure about onions. Yeah, maybe some onions too. Either way, I've got a big bed here and I will see how it works. Hopefully... This little experiment of mine is successful, and if it's not, you know what? I'll try something different next year. Every year of gardening is just a chance to try something new and uh, learn from past year's mistakes. All right, I'm going to get to it, and I'll talk.
Okay, so I got everything ripped up and I got one and a half bags of dirt. Put in. Yes, hello. Oh my goodness. So I have two cats. She's good with being outside. The black one, Olive, she uh, was just not having it today. So she's inside and uh, yeah, so there we go. Alrighty, so I am <laughs> done for today. I uh, pretty much have everything ready to go for planting. There's a couple planters that uh, I need to stick some dirt in. And um, there's one flower bed um, or vegetable bed that I need to uh, put some more, put a little bit of dirt in, but add some like miracle Grow stuff to the soil. Just kind of retreat it, bring it back. But uh, yeah, okay. So I am hot, sweaty, and now I've definitely worked up an appetite for breakfast. So I'm, I don't like to work out uh, after I eat. So whenever I, I hit the gym, I hit the treadmill, I do yard work, it's always uh, first thing in the morning, uh, like, you know, eight, nine o'clock, usually eight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I work out for, you know, about half an hour, an hour. And then, uh, then I eat. Well, after I shower, it's uh, look sweat stain or sweat mark. Yeah, I'm just dripping here <laughs> at this point. <laughs> All right, so that is it, and uh, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you next week. Okay, bye.